Dear brothers and sisters in Christ our Redeemer, greetings from Rome. It's a real joy to be able to share in this novena that you're making with St. Jared Magella. To make a novena today is like making a pilgrimage. It's a journey of faith to grow in your relationship with God and your relationship with others, with other people. During this time of pandemic, you don't even have to leave your home to make the novena this year. And you've got very good traveling companions. Thousands of people right across Ireland are making this novena with you. And even as far away as Rome and other places, we're taking part too. And above all, your traveling companion on this pilgrimage for this novena is Jared Magella. It's really important that we have good companions to walk with us. Companions who understand us, companions who listen to us, companions who support us. And I think you've chosen well in asking St. Jared Magella to accompany you on this novena. When I think of Jared Magella, one word comes to my mind, and the word is closeness, closeness, nearness. Jared Magella had a very special gift of being close to people and to God. From the time he was a very young boy, Jared had a close relationship with God through Jesus. He knew Jesus as his friend and his brother. He talked to Jesus in ordinary words, his own words, as you would speak to a friend. And he can teach us how to do that too. He spoke the Italian dialect of his part of the world and Jesus understood. Jesus spoke to his heart and he listened to Jesus too. Out of that closeness with Jesus, his brother, his friend, his redeemer, Jared also developed closeness with any other people he met. He was an expert in the culture of encounter. He knew how to listen. These days, Pope Francis is encouraging all of us in the new encyclical Fratelli Tutti to foster that culture of encounter, to draw near to, to become close to the people we meet on our journey of faith. Jared Magella can teach us how. Those who met Jared Magella always said he had the gift to read hearts. Sometimes he seemed to know them better than they knew themselves. He knew what was in their heart, on their mind, after speaking with them for only a short time. That's remarkable. It's a gift of the Holy Spirit, certainly. But that gift is rooted in Jared's ability to really listen and take seriously and pay attention to the people with whom he was talking. The Holy Spirit works through the gifts that every one of us has. You too are invited to that kind of attention, encounter, closeness to the people in your lives, members of your family, the people you live with, the people in your community, your neighbors, and even those you might meet for the first and last time, to give them your attention, to be really present. As you continue this novena with Jared Magella, I suggest you ask for that gift which was his. Ask him to teach you and help you to develop in yourself that same gift of fostering a real culture of encounter, to really be present to, listen to, be with those who you are close to. It'd be a great gift, and you've got a great teacher in Jared Magella. God bless you.